When it comes to watch collecting, everyone wants the biggest bang for their buck. So these are six diving watches that look more expensive than they are. Welcome back to the Chisholm Hunter channel. My name is Harrison, as always. And whenever I'm looking for a watch, and it can be seen in a couple of pieces nowadays, Christopher Ward, the 12, and maybe the Tissot PRX, I'm looking for something that looks more expensive than it actually is. And the Christopher Ward 12 and the Tissot PRX fall into this category. And that's partially why I got a Tissot PRX. For £600-ish, you're getting a Genta-inspired design that looks more expensive than it is. So today, we're going to be counting down six diving watches that look more expensive than they are. First on the list, we have one that you're not gonna expect because I've not really talked about them before. It's the Orient Mako 2. This watch comes in at 41.5 millimeters in diameter, stainless steel. You have a variety of colors to choose between. Personally, I would go for the black. I like that little red arrow at the tip of the second hand. The movement in this model is the Orient 46913. It has 21 joules and has an approximate power reserve of about 40 hours. And also, this is, it's not amazing, but for the price of this watch coming in at about 130 to 150 pounds, depending and if you get it on sale or not, it's all right. It's plus or minus 35 to 25 seconds a day. The movement in this model is the Orient F6922. Now this has about 22 joules, approximately 40 hours of power is fully automatic and it's plus or minus 15 seconds a day. Now that's just a brief overview of the specs of this watch, but if you look at it in a picture or you look at it in person, it looks extremely similar to let's say a Longines Hydro Conquest or a Tag Heuer Aqua Racer. It has that same aesthetic to it. And actually it looks a load more expensive than it actually is. It comes in at about 130 to 150 pounds, as I said before, depending whether you can get it on sale or not. Next on the list is the Citizen Pro Master Diver. And this is an extremely good looking watch or watches for the money. They come in at on average about 300 to 500 pounds depending on which one you go for. Now there's so much depth to this range. There's so much depth to the family of watches that I don't want to pick one in particular, but these do look incredible for the money. A lot of this range is water resistant to 200 meters, which is pretty impressive again for the price. And a lot of them have the eco drive movement. It's weird to say, but quite a lot of this range give off slight Seiko Sumo vibes. Most of the range come in at around 42 mil, which is pretty wearable and pretty standard amongst diving watches. And also if it was me, I'd get it with a rubber strap. Next up, we have an absolute hidden gem of a watch. And for those of you that have been subscribed to the channel for a while, you might remember the time that we actually took it to St. Abs, to Thor's local hangout, the Avengers filming location, St. Abs in Scotland. If you haven't seen it, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'll have tons of new stuff coming, but it is the Certina DS action diver. This watch comes in at 43 millimeters in diameter, has sapphire crystal glass, has a height of 13.1 millimeters and is water resistant to, you guessed it, 300 meters. Now, there's lots of specs going on there, but the point to take from this is that this watch looks incredible when you have it on the wrist. Certina is actually owned by Swatch and Swatch Supply you know, Tissot, Amiga, a ton of other brands. So you can expect quality within Certina just because of the parent company. The Certina DS Action Diver roughly comes in at about 860 pounds. You do have a couple of, of colors that you can play with. I know that when we took it up to St. Abs, we actually had the PVD Gold version. For a diving watch, that's not what I would go for, but whatever floats your boat. And I would go as far to say, that these action divers look about the 1,000 to 1,100 pound range. I would genuinely say that. That's just the aesthetics. I'm not talking about the movement, but the aesthetics, aesthetically, it just looks more expensive. Next on the list, we actually have a Tudor, which believe it or not, Chisholm Hunter are official stockists of. If you want to try a Tudor on digitally, I know, I know, crazy. All you need to do is take a photo of your wrist on the Chisholm Hunter website and we Photoshop 
digitally the watch on your wrist. It's genius. You don't even need to go into a store in order to try something on anymore. Kind of scary. Head to chismhunter.co.uk and try it for yourself. The Tudor Black Bay 41 is the next watch that we're going to talk about today. And this genuinely is out of personal experience as well. I actually own the Gen 1 variant of the Tudor Black Bay. Now you have a couple of different color variations when you're looking at Tudor. You have blue, you have black, you have burgundy. And the upgrade that Tudor have gone through over the last couple of years has propelled them to one of the most desired brands in the world. It's absolutely incredible. And the reason for this is partially down, or mostly down to the quality for the price. You have an incredible watch for a very affordable, in watch terms, price. Not to mention the fact that it actually has a Metas movement in the Black Bay Burgundy Heritage Edition now, which is absolutely insane. When you actually look and feel this watch, when you get it on the wrist, it has all the properties and qualities of an extremely high-end diving watch. It is waterproof, and that's important, waterproof to 200 meters, not water resistant. It also has domed sapphire crystal glass, a screw down crown, a rotating bezel uh, with a aluminium disc inlay. You've obviously got a couple of uh, colors to choose from, and you also have the choice between a rubber strap, a kind of jubilee looking bracelet, it's kind of a rice grain bracelet, or what looks like an oyster bracelet. All of this comes in at about 3,630 pounds, as of today that is. And I know that that is quite expensive, but this video is just about watches that look more expensive than they actually are, specifically divers. The next two watches that we're going to cover are probably the two most important watches of this video, and I don't say that lightly. They are absolutely incredible for the money. And obviously, given the title of this video, they look more expensive than they are. But before we get onto that, it's time for the Chisholm Hunter tradition, which of course is the wrist check. What is on your wrist today? Please let me know in the comments. I love seeing all the weird and wonderful watches that the community here at Chisholm Hunter have on. And on that note, I actually have a weird and wonderful watch on. I have a new watch on, just added it to my collection. It is the Seiko 5 Peanuts edition, the 38 mil Seiko 5. And it's absolutely incredible for the money. I, I love the NATO strap. I love the little graphics that are on it that, that, that make it a Peanuts limited edition. I, I'm kind of a Seiko fanboy now. Next up is the Tissot Seastar 1000. Now, for those of you that have been on the channel for a while, you'll also remember the watch vlog that we did when we went to Italy with the Tissot Seastar. We took it on a trek up a hill and then took it into a lake to test it to its limits. And this thing, although that was the automatic version, this thing looks so much better than what it costs. This model actually comes in quartz, so it's not automatic, but remember this video is just about things that look more expensive than they are. And it also is water resistant to 300 meters. You have a couple of dial colors to play with, a couple of dial variants to play with. It also comes in at 40 mil in diameter. So the sizing for a diving watch that goes to that water resistance is pretty bang on, it's pretty perfect. And something that Seiko have been doing so well recently has been upgrading their styles for an affordable price. And that kind of relates back to the Tissot PRX, or you can see it in the Christopher Ward, their styling is amazing for the price. If you look elsewhere for a Genta inspired design, you need to look at the IWC Engineer, the Patek Philippe Nautilus, the Vacheron Constant Overseas, the AP Royal Oak, everything that is just way above the threshold of what I personally am capable to get to. The last watch on the list, the brand that I've been waiting, the crescendo of this video is the Longines Hydro Conquest. Now you do have lots of sizes to consider when, when looking at a Longines Hydro Conquest. You have 39 mil, you have 41, you have 44. So to, no matter how big your wrist is, you can kind of size it to your wrist. You also have a ton of metal variants or PVD and steel variants, and you have a ton of colors to choose between. My personal favorite being the green. The Longines Hydro Conquest with the bracelet comes in at about £1,650, which yes, is very expensive, but the specs and the look and the style of this watch and also the branding is pretty damn phenomenal. It does have an in-house movement, the L888 movement. 
it comes in at 11.9 millimeters in thickness, which is really nice and thin for a diving watch. It has 300 meters of water resistance, has a screw down crown, sapphire crystal glass, all the bells and whistles that go with a diving watch. And it also has up to 72 hours of power stored in that in-house L888 movements. But we're not on the movement. We're not on the subject of the movement. We're just on the looks of the watch. It looks as expensive as a Tudor. Thank you so much for watching this Chisholm Hunter video. My name is Harrison, as always. And if you enjoyed, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps more, more than you know. And I'd really, really appreciate it. Remember that we do have members only content. So if you want to get some VIP exclusive content about us talking honestly, honest conversations about watches, hit that join button on the homepage of the YouTube channel and you get exclusive content. Or follow us on Instagram, Chisholm Hunter Watches, where you pretty much will see just watches. See you soon.